power of low code, no code and citizen development. And I think it's I think it's interesting because the world we feel and I think you feel is going in this direction. So can you talk to us a little bit about what you think of the world of citizen development and how it's growing in the business world? It's nothing short of a revolution, Jason. It's one of the reasons I, like you, worked really quickly and hard to get the book out so soon. As I did the research for the book, I realized that even though citizen development as a term only made inroads, I think it was 2014 or 15, I cite the Forrester report in the book. It's actually been around as a long time, whether you've been a business technologist or something else. And I can remember back in the day using Microsoft Access to create really single person applications that really didn't scale across an organization or other than say Microsoft Access talking to Outlook or Excel. It's basically Microsoft talking to Microsoft. Well, fast forward 25 years, and now these tools are, to use a 50 cent word, interoperable or extensible. So I can absolutely stitch together something with a Zappi or, or a Workato or Workato, however I pronounce that one. And through the APIs that I've discussed in previous books, that's not stopping anytime soon. In fact, um, as I describe in chapter one, there's this dearth of IT talent. And as more companies try to get people into the office, um, I came across a study from some professors a few months ago at the University of Chicago, a full 100% of IT folks can do their jobs remotely. So that trend is going to kind of butt heads with people's desire to kind of reframe their lives, as I discussed in my previous book. So long story short, um, we've always had a shortage of IT folks. COVID created or intensified the need for business applications before we work remotely or in a hybrid fashion. We didn't necessarily need an app to track who's in the office today. Or do we have enough desks as companies reduce the real estate footprint? And yeah, you can let the head of marketing hire a third party independent software vendor to build an app. But as I wrote in my first book a million years ago, new systems and applications typically don't do so well. So something has to give. And fortunately, the no code, low code tools uh, such as Creatio, have absolutely exploded. So uh, in the new book, I attempt to create a vendor agnostic piece that explains where we are, how we got here, and where we're going. And like you, I think the future of low-code, no-code is pretty damn bright.